So I haven't done a lot of these in a while where you see me talking and mainly because I was, you know, redoing the studio. Look at this new setup. I mean, officially I became a YouTuber, so you're not going to miss my pretty face anymore. I'm going to be every single day in front of a camera. But anyways, moving to the topic of the video, which is one thing that I want to talk about that I think that is really important and it concerns how people think game development works and how you can succeed as a game developer. Because you see, when a beginner starts with game development, he is being told that he needs to learn how to use a specific game engine, no matter which one he's using, Godot, Unity, Unreal, whatever. And he also needs to learn how to program, of course, with the programming language that comes with that game engine. And being that that's the only thing that he is told, he believes that that's the only two components he needs, he, the person who is a beginner, needs in order to succeed as a game developer. So he embarks on that journey, he starts learning how to use the game engine, how to code, and yada, yada, yada. But then he realizes that that's not enough for you or for anyone to succeed as a game developer. Because there is not, or it's not only enough that you only know how to code and how to use the game engine. It's a variety of skills put together, skills that have to do directly with programming and making games and skills that don't have to do anything directly with programming and game development. And they need to be put together in order for you to succeed as a game developer. Let's take, for example, the traditional commercial game. So you're creating a commercial game that you want to publish, you want to earn money from that game, and it doesn't matter if it's a mobile game or a Steam game, whatever, but you want to create a game, publish it, and earn money. Well, it's not enough for you only to create that game in a game engine, code it, publish it online, and voila, you can you know sit down and the money will pour in. Unfortunately, the Flappy Bird days are gone where you just, you know, create something, publish it online and you see a gazillion downloads and, you know, the money starts pouring in and yada, yada, yada. Those days are over. And people who experienced that got extremely lucky because it takes a lot of things to be put together in order for a game to succeed. For example, you need to also learn how to advertise or market your game. That's one skill that you need to combine with your programming and game engine usage. And of course, there are a million ways how you can market your game. There is the traditional paid marketing where you use Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, or whichever medium or advertising platform you want to use. And you acquire your downloads or you acquire your users or people that will purchase your game via paid ads. Now, the problem with this is that you need to do it over and over again in order to learn it. But in order to do it over and over again, you need to, you know, pour some cash in. And this is a problem for people who have limited resources. Of course, there is another way how you can advertise your game, which is the organic way where you use the same platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. But instead of paying, you create an audience, you build an audience with your content, with your game they have play videos, with whatnot, and you build trust with them. So people, so those people will download and play your game. So... As you can see, this is only one component that already goes into creating a game or making a successful game. Now, let's get back to the creating the game itself. It's not enough for you to only learn how to code and how to use the game engine. You also need to learn how to be organized. And yes, this is a skill. And if you're wondering, and if anyone is wondering, what does organization have to do with creating a game? Well, just think of it like this. You are creating a game and you just put everything, you scatter it in your project. You know, you don't know which script is which. You just paste your code, you write your code all over the place. Things can get messy pretty quick. Now, of course, you're following a small tutorial that has one hour on YouTube. You have like 100 lines of code. There is no issue with that. But let's say you have 10 scripts and all those 10 scripts have 500 lines of code or you have... 500 scripts and all those 500 scripts have more than 100 lines of code if you're not organized if you don't structure your code if you don't use a game design document and this is the purpose why the, why a game design document exists so that you don't get lost later on 
down the road on or in your project. So you need to learn how to be organized, how to structure your code, how to repurpose your code, how to organize your project into folders, into subfolders, into hierarchies so that you can find them faster, especially if you're loading assets while you are running your game. So first, when you run the game, you load the assets, you will need to learn or know where the path is and so on and so forth. So it's not only you sit down and you start typing the code. Now, another thing that you also need to do as a developer is you need to get your sleep in order. Now, if you're like, you are crazy now, what does sleep have to do with creating a game? Well, it basically, a lot because we are human beings. If you don't sleep well, you will not function properly. If you mess up your sleep, like most people do, if you take a look at you know the world today, the millennials, the people who will inherit this world when the old are gone, you will rarely find somebody who goes to sleep before one or 2 a.m. And usually they are up looking at their phone, browsing Instagram, looking stupid pictures, just wait, wasting time for you know no particular reason. Instead of just laying or going to bed at a reasonable time, let's say 10 p.m. and then you can wake up at 4 a.m. and start working on your game because then you're refreshed, it's early in the morning, there is, you don't hear any voices, people are not up and so on and so forth. Because again, as I said, we are human beings. If you mess up, your sleeping order, if you mess up your body, if you don't eat properly, because our bodies are disposable, everything we have is disposable. If you don't eat well, if you don't sleep well, your body, your mind, which is the most important thing, will not function properly in order for you to get ideas, in order for you to be able to debug your project, to come up with code that will fix the issue that you have or what you want to do, you need your, you need to have a brain that is functioning 100%, otherwise it will not work. So again, as you can see, many of these things that are not directly, di di directly, well, I have issues talking, okay? That are not directly related to game development and to programming, they need to be put together in a single person in order for you to be able to create a successful game. Moving forward, and probably the most important thing that every game developer should have is a good and clear mindset. Now, again, you're going to think I'm crazy. What the hell is, what does mindset have to do with creating a game? Well, it again, everything. If you don't have the proper mindset, if you start creating your game and you think that it's going to be hard and you're not going to finish it, well, guess what? It's going to be hard for you to create a game and you're not going to finish it. So, uh, and the same, the same goes if you start learning. If you believe that you will not be able to learn, then you will not be able to learn. You need to do whatever you do. If you start learning, if you want to create a game, if you want to get a job, you need to do those things believing that you can do them, believing that you will get that job, believing that you will make it because when you have that belief in yourself, it will push you to give your best, to give your maximum, to try everything that you can do that is in your power to actually achieve the goal or the thing that you want to achieve. Again, because if you have a weak mindset, if you come into it with 50%, you're like, maybe I will get it, maybe I will not get it. Well, guess what? There is a person out there who thinks 100% and he's going to get it and he's going to be more motivated than you to actually get that job or to finish that game or to do whatever is in question. And having the proper mindset, it's not only about believing that you can actually achieve something, but it also helps you set your priorities in order. Because again, how many times you started to work on your project and your friends like, oh, let's go out, let's do, I don't know, let's go grab a coffee, let's go talk, let's do this, let's do that. And you just, you know, abandon your project, you just leave it and you go out and you think like, I'm come back, I'll come back later on and then I will work on my project. And that, you know, we know never happens because again, I'm not saying that you should be like an introvert and not go out and just leave a social life, you know, behind yourself. No, but you should, you know, put a plan together ahead of priority from 7 a.m. up to 1 p.m. I am working on my project. No matter what happens, even if the house is burning, I'm going to burn down with the house, but I'm going to stay inside. I'm going to work in my project or on my project, no matter who calls me, no matter which friend calls me and what he wants to do with me, be that go barbecuing or eating or McDonald's or grab a cup of coffee, whatever. You can do that later on because you need to set your priorities in order. And also that will allow you to finish your project, having a project 
proper mindset will allow you to not abandon your project. Many of us, me included, and a lot of people I see that on my channel, people who send me messages, they start working on a project and, you know, like after a month or two, they get stuck or the project gets messy or whatever. They just leave the project for a new idea that they start and it repeats all over again. So then you start another project and after two months you leave that project and then when you look behind yourself, you wasted like two years, three years and you have like 10 unfinished projects that are at 20% and you cannot do anything with any of those projects. Well, having the proper mindset and having your priorities in order will help you finish your project when you actually start. It will take a year, it will take two years, it will take five years. Heck, I don't know, it will take 10 years depending on the game that you're creating, but you will make it through that. When, the, when you hit at a stone or, or when you run into problems, when hard things come your way, you will be able to manage, you will be able to handle them. So as you can see, again, all of these things need to be combined together in order for you to actually be able to get a job or to create a game and publish it online. So it's not like what we see in those YouTube videos where people are just talking, oh, learn Unity, learn Unreal, learn Godot now, learn C Sharp, C++, whatever, and voila, there, there you go, you're a game programmer, you're a game developer. It's not like that. As you can see, you need to also be disciplined. You need to have these things alongside with the ability to learn, alongside with the will to learn, alongside that you're capable of learning and that you believe that you will learn. So no matter if you're following whatever course that you find online or whichever YouTube channel you're following or whichever tutorial on YouTube you're following, you will not be able to succeed as a game developer if you don't get all of these things in order. And this is something that you will not find on any other channel that's talking about because that is the harsh truth that people don't want to handle. And I've seen this, I'm part of a lot of groups on Facebook, business groups, game development groups, whatever. In the majority, basically in every single one of those masterminds, and these masterminds are, you know, hosted by large people, you know, people where you need to pay like 50K, 100K just to be a participant in those masterminds. All of those masterminds, the first thing that, they're te that they teach those people is the mindset. They teach them that they can do it, they teach how to, you know, function properly, how to get bad habits away from you or leave bad habits behind you and how to build good habits and good things that you're doing, which will build up a momentum with you that will allow you to succeed later on in whichever field you are, no matter if it's game development or app development, web development, I don't know, entrepreneurship, whatever, engineering, whatever you're doing. But when you have all these habits, when you're eating healthy, when you're sleeping healthy, when you have priorities in order and so on and so forth, that will help you actually build your game, publish it, market it, build an audience, get a job as a game developer. But if you don't have these things, then well, what else can I say? Work on work on getting them. So if you have, if you're lacking in one of these issues that I mentioned, these are just a few. Now, these are the few, the main ones, and you can figure out from these few which others are the ones that are important. But if you're lacking in one of them, start working on correcting them right away. And that way you will succeed faster. Anyways, this is enough about me ranting and let me know how you like the new studio. If you'd like a tour, I can, you know, give you a tour of the studio. It's really cool. It's realize I'm trying, I want to paint logos over here on this wall as well. So it's going to be amazing. Look that out in one of the next videos. Uh, anyways, if you are a beginner and you want to learn how to create games or if you want to enhance your game development skills, I have a few links down below this video in the description. So make sure to check them out. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share, you know, comment, do whatever, you know, you know what you need to do. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video.